Hey guys, Sean McAfee with Texas Mountain Bike Trails here. Today I'm taking a look at the differences between a, a bike trainer for your bike, for your road bike, or a mountain bike even, versus a stationary trainer, which I have here. Now this is actually the bike that I rode on in the winter of uh, 2011 slash 2012. And then this year in 2012, I picked up the bike trainer so that I could use my actual road bike. My preference is to use a bike trainer with my road bike on it. I could also use my 29er, but you know, I've got the road bike, it fits better, it works better, and it's a lot less noisy on the bike trainer. So that's what I go ahead and use. Um, I do prefer this basically because it, uh, it's your bike and it's in your position. You're not having to adjust it and try to mimic uh, the position on a more of a, a fixed bike. This is the exact position you're gonna be riding in if you were out on the road out there. So I do like this a lot better for that reason. Uh, another thing I like is that I already have the setup for my Garmin um, mounts. So my Garmin device right here, it's already set up right on top. There, you know, there's nothing that I have to change out there. I also don't have to get another set of pedals and I don't have to get another seat. Um, it, everything is right there, it's on the bike, it's excellent, you know, that's, that's what I do prefer. Both of these are going to give you a great experience with, if you're training indoors, if you're doing Sufferfest videos or uh, Cyclocore videos or any other of those uh, different training plans, these are both going to give you excellent, excellent workouts. I mean, it's, it's all spinning, it's all based on, you know, the effort you put into it. Um, just my personal preference for comfort while you're on there and while you're working and just less hassle and everything else definitely comes down to using your own bike. Hopefully this helps you make a more informed decision if you are looking at buying a new bike trainer or a stationary indoor bike. Again, this is just much easier as far as ease of use and uh, less costly as far as the products you have to buy. The cost of each one, the bike trainer versus a stationary bike, is actually pretty much the same. So I spent about the same on this bike trainer as I did on this stationary bike. So if you have any comments, if you want to leave your input, which I would love on uh, which one you prefer, you know, please leave a comment below. Uh, definitely subscribe to the channel and like the video, and you can always look us up on Facebook and Twitter at Texas MTB Trails. Thanks guys, have a great ride, and I'll see y'all later.